everybody and welcome back to the channel fragrance journey we're going back to back we'll drop yesterday we're gonna drop again today today we're gonna to be talking about a fragrance that i was definitely excited to get in my collection i've seen my guy he smells i think it's he smells like rome he really likes this one and um i've been holding off it's a little bit pricey well, really not that bad but it is a little pricey uh, i think this is only a what is this it's a 75 mil. It's a 75 mil. And I got it from Lucky Scent. I couldn't find it online, like eBay. Uh, my guy that I buy a lot of stuff from on eBay, he didn't have it available. So um, I picked this up. I was going to get Zoologist, but I decided to get this one because I think this one is more just a true leather fragrance. It was released in 2010. It's from the house of Mona Diorio, and it is queer. And man, I got this yesterday and I sprayed it on. I've already sprayed some on my hand. And it's definitely the most true masculine fragrance that I believe I have in my collection is leather. I think it's a little bit more masculine than leather oud. It's not as animalic, but it's definitely more masculine in my eyes. This does have some animalic touches to it. The notes are cardamom, leather, K. Resinoid of Papanex and Castorium. Um, I haven't had a lot of, I haven't had a fragrance with those notes in it other than like leather and cardamom. The other notes, I haven't had a fragrance with those in them. You definitely get some of that cardamom at the top and this is a leather bomb. This is definitely just a, a bunch of, uh, just like an old leather couch, but it's spicy and it's smoky too. Uh, he smells like Ron was saying it's like a, a campfire where they threw leather on it and burned it. I totally agree with that. It's definitely a smoky, beautiful leather with some spices. And this is, I've heard a lot of people use the word panty dropper uh, with a fragrance. Uh, I'm not sure if a fragrance drops panties. I'm not sure about that. But this is probably not one that's going to be a panty dropper. This is not one that's probably going to demand a lot of compliments. Now it may in the right situation. But it definitely projects like crazy. The performance is great. Um, I think I sprayed it on my hand yesterday. It was on my hand for 12, 14 hours. Definitely get wafts of it. It actually, to me, smells better today than it did yesterday. When I smelled it yesterday, I, was, I don't know if I had on too many fragrances or whatever. Uh, a lot of times I just come up here and spray um, a lot of fragrances and just smell them on my hand, arm, all kind of places. My wife thinks I'm crazy. But today it smells a lot better. The presentation is really beautiful. Uh, I love the bottling. I don't know if y'all can see it that way. Would it be that way y'all can see it? It's just really nice overall, man. It's really good juice. It's released in 2010. I'm not sure if I already said that. But if you like a real smoky, spicy leather, this to me is not real complicated. It's not a complex fragrance as you see on the note tree it had maybe five notes in it but it does what it does really really good um a lot of people not really into leathers like that i'm like all leather right now i don't want nothing but leather fragrances um I'm not into the fruity i'm not into none of that i've got a few of those fragrances um but if i'm gonna wear some to work it's probably gonna be some kind of cheap fragrance, you know what I'm saying? But when I'm going out, I'm gonna spray on some real nice juice and I'm gonna probably spray on some leather or something like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be in an environment where I can, where I can rock it, you know? Uh, it's so hot where I'm at right now in Tennessee, it's a hundred and something degrees. So if you go anywhere, it's not gonna be outside anyway. But that's just a quick review of Mona de Oreo Queer. Hopefully I said that right. If you've gotten your nose on this, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about it. I think it's amazing. Maybe the best leather fragrance in my collection. I wish this was 100 mil, but this is not something I'm wearing every day. So this juice will probably last me forever. So if you can, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. If you can leave down below, tell me any kind of videos you want to see. I'm going to try to change my setup here and maybe move this way. I got to get one more piece of glass cut from my cage so I can start putting juices on the third level. I'm going to clean this bottom part out, get all my boxes, because I keep all my juice boxes. Um, and I may put those up on the third level until I start moving juices down there. 
Uh, I'm gonna start trying to get my collection in order, separating leathers and separate everything. But if you woke up today, you're definitely winning. Other than that, I definitely appreciate you watching. If you can, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'm out. Peace.